it's Christy welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be making a quick and easy card using lawn fawns happy hugs and den sweet den so I've stamped my images out on some spectrum noir ultra smooth premium white cardstock with jet black ink from lawn fawn and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers and I'm going to apologize right now if my voice sounds just a little hoarse. I am just getting over a really bad cold that lasted for about 10 or 11 days and my voice isn't quite back to normal so I apologize for that. But I'm going to start with my little squirrel here and I'm going to make him a red squirrel because those are one of my favorite animals in the whole world. So the color combo that I picked for him was E13. E15, E17, and E19. Started with the E19 and laid in some shadows wherever I thought that they should go. A little bit on the back of his head and the sides of his body and the underside of his tail. And then I blended that out with the E17. And now I'm coming in with the E15. I'm going to finish off most of him with that shade. I'm just going to leave a few little areas that I wanted to have some extra highlight, like the top of his face because it's upturned toward the light and his little belly and his feet. And I'll use the E13 for that. Next, I'm going to do the pages of all the books, and I'm using E50 and E51. Just a few little flicks with that E51, so there's a little bit more definition on the spine area, and then blending that out with the E50. It gives them a nice, soft look, and then I'll move on to one of my book stacks. I wanted them to be kind of in rainbow order, so I'm going to start with red and I'm using R24, R29, and R39. And for this one, I put my darkest on the right hand side and blended lighter towards the left. The next one is going to be orange and I picked YR04, YR07, and YR09. And I'm just doing that in the same direction with the spine being the darkest. For the next book, I'm going to add some yellows and I'm going to switch to shading on the left side because that's where the top of the spine is. So I used Y13, Y15, and Y17 for that book. And then I'm going to switch to some greens and I'll use YG05. YG06 and YG07. This one I shaded just slightly different because it is at the top of the stack so it would get some light on the top edge of that spine. So I used the YG07 at the bottom edge and then also a little bit on the left. And then I blended out with the YG06 and then I'm filling in with the YG05. And then for the two stripes on the spine, I went with some turquoise. I picked BG45 and BG49. For the open book, I'm going to use B21, B23, and B26. And I'm going to shade this one differently as well because the light would fall on it differently. So I put my darkest, that B26, closest to the spine and then also on either side of the spine and then I'm blending out with the B23. I'll do that on the spine as well and then I'll have the B21 be my highlight on the part that is the most exposed to the light there that's most curved up and then also on the very center of that spine. And then for my last book I wanted to do some purple so I picked V04, V05, and V06. And this one I'm going to add my shading with the V06 on the top edge of the book and the bottom of the spine. And then blend out with the V05. And then I'll use the V04 for that highlight shade. Once that's finished, I'm going to grab my black Sakura Jelly Roll pen and just go over the eye of the squirrel to make sure that it's nice and bright and just really brings him to life. 
and then I will trim all of these images out with their matching dies. For my focal panel, I've die cut a piece of mermaid cardstock with the stitch journaling card die, and then also a piece of noble fur with the simple stitch hillside border. And then I've also taken the outside in stitched thought bubble stackable and die cut that out of some white cardstock. And I will just set that aside for now. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the bottom of my hill using some noble fur ink. So it's going to match perfectly. And I'm using one of the sentiments from Den Sweet Den that says your tops in my book. I just stamped that down a couple times to make sure I had a nice dark impression. And then I'll pop my card base in my Misty and I'm using another piece of mermaid cardstock. And I'm going to use a little squirrel from Let's Go Nuts and stamp that in peacock ink. And that is going to say, um, sending happy thoughts your way. And I also use the little thought bubble from the happy hugs right above him. So once I've had that stamped in the peacock ink, I'm also going to add the open book into that thought bubble. So it'll have a bookish theme throughout. Then I'm going to grab some really rainbow six by six pattern paper and choose a print to um, serve as my backdrop. So I really liked this rainbow stripe and I thought that would tie in nicely with the books. I die cut that in with the outside in stitch rectangle stackables. So it gives me that nice stitching detail, but also just trims off the slight border so that my mermaid cardstock will show through on the outside edges. I just really love the kind of finished look that this die gives you. So I glued that down with some liquid glue, then I'll set that aside and work on my focal panel. I'm going to take that uh, grassy border and um, glue that down to my background. So then I can bring in my images and the first thing I'm going to adhere is this large thought bubble. It's gonna take up most of the sky area and give me a good space to add my book stacks. And um, so the inspiration behind this card was um, favorite destination. It's for our current Lawn Fanatics Challenge. And I decided to depict the place that I was dreaming of being able to go while we were in lockdown during the pandemic. And that for me was the library. I absolutely love the library. I go there normally at least a couple times a week, um, but I didn't make it the day of the lockdown because I was at work. And by the time I got out of work, I went straight to the library and they had already shut down. So the whole pandemic, I was just dreaming of the library reopening and I thought that that would be um, a fun thing to kind of depict on this little card here. And it's also great for a lot of my bookish and writerly friends. So um, I'm going to pop out the little circles from the trail from the thought bubble. You can use the, um, the round piece or the little centers. I decided to use the centers, but I'm only going to use two of them because there wasn't enough space for all three. And the big one just didn't seem to look right to me. So I'm using the smaller two on this card. So I just went ahead and added a little liquid glue and then set my little circles down in place so that it has the little trail up to the thought bubble. And then I'm just gonna readjust my squirrel a tiny bit so that he's just where I want him. I'll add some foam tape to the back of that focal panel to give it a little bit of dimension and then I'm going to center that on the card and pop that down into place. I debated about whether or not to add any stickles to this one, but in the end, I could not resist. So I decided to add it to just the books. So I'm gonna just add a little bit to each of the covers and the spines, just because I think books are such a magical way to escape when you need to and travel to other lands and be someone else for a little while. And um, yeah, I think books are just lovely. So 
I went ahead and added some sparkle to those and I'll give you a little close up and another peek at the inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what was the place that you were dreaming of going during lockdown. I would love to hear. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I post new ones every Monday and Friday. If you're interested in any of the products that I used, you'll find them listed and linked below in the description bar. And if you'd like to keep watching, here are two extra videos I thought you might also enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.